Fox Tonight. Two all-new hours of Trading Spouses start right now. Tonight, two new moms make the trading spouses switch. I think I like everything about myself. One mom only wants the finest things in life. Everything has to be the best of the best. The other mom's an equine expert. I live in the barn more than I do the house. Who spends her days with the knights of old. There's no comparison to putting on that armor knowing that someone's coming at you. <laughs> but time with this temperamental teen. What about me? A whining teen-year-old. May make her wish she'd never left home. <laughs> that looks so Ridiculous. Ew. This mom's new life of manual labor <laughs> and medieval mayhem <laughs> are gonna lead to a fiery family fight. I'm treating you exactly like I would my own wife. My wife would not do this right now. It's an all-new Trading Spouses. Maybe her husband rolls over. And it starts right now. But I don't. I just feel that I don't belong here. Two totally different families are trading one parent for one week. New house, new kids, new life. Each family gets $50,000, but it's up to the new mommy to decide how the money gets spent. It's two families' quest to answer one age-old question. Is the grass truly greener on the other side? Horsey. I couldn't live without horses. God, you like to make me work, horse. I live in the barn more than I do the house. You have to take care of everything when you take care of the horses. Making sure there's plenty of hay, plenty of grain, plenty of water, plenty of bedding. I clean morning and night. I feed morning and night. More food, more and more food. It's so costly and so time consuming. But horses have to be taken care of, and it takes a lot of time. Oh, boy, he's so good. My husband and I have been married for 21 years. He is in the military. When I met him, I said, you do realize that horses are first, and you are always second. That same night, I said, if horses are a big thing to you, this is a big thing to me. I'm very much into the medieval era. In order to understand what it was like to be a medieval man, you have to put on 95 pounds of armor and ride a horse and feel what it was like. Do you like my new lamp? It's not just dress up to me. It's a way of life. You're not going to help me with my armor? Is he my squire or not? My son, Marcello, is 17. You just wait. I'd rather go put on a dress. It's giving me a headache. My daughter is 21. Her name's Ariana. I'm not nine, I'm princess. Myself and my family joined the medieval reenactment group. I encourage the medieval stuff. I encourage fantasy. <laughs> Mark does Japanese sword fighting, and Ariana does her own little specialty. I like dressing up in pirate garb. <laughs> When Preston and I, my fiance, met, we both found out that we like to dress up like pirates. Since then, we've been inseparable. I love Preston. I'm gonna marry him. <laughs> I have a very big idea for my wedding and, you know, being married on a tall ship and uh, everybody dressed in pirate outfits. Of course, both the kids enjoy getting dressed up and I think it's good for them. You can't wear jeans. Jeans aren't medieval. I'm not really into the entire medieval reenactment as much as the rest of my family. Thanks, Dad. Thanks, Dad. A lot of the stuff where we do, I just do it to fit in with our family. Hurry up. Yeah, yeah. If the class starts at 2, you don't show up at 2. I am the lord of my household. I make the decisions on this household. I run this house. Don't stand there and ask me for something. Find it, make it happen. My dad is the one you don't piss off. You're supposed to do what you do. Mike tends to become heated. Put your boots on and your hat. 
I don't know if Michael brings it from the military or if it's just him. Stop talking about the <laughs> Got it? I think it's uh, Lao Tzu says, uh, that which does not kill you only makes you stronger, so. Now knock it off. Easy, get up, get up. Slowly. <sighs> okay, breathe. I'm satisfied with my life. We are not financially wealthy, but we're wealthy in, in our love and our ability to do things that we like. That's what's really important. I think I like everything about myself. I have a PhD, I study at Harvard, and I'm a good-looking woman. I'm very much fashionable, and I dress up sexily. I live in California, Thousand Oaks. Thousand Oaks is a heaven on earth. Financially, we are doing pretty well. Our house, it looks perfect and beautiful. For me, everything has to be the best of the best. I think the same thing goes with my family. That looks good. I always look for her. Aunt is my husband. We have been married for almost 18 years. I, I don't have a six pack, okay, but then you don't, no need to start poking me in the tummy, okay? We met in India where the both of us were born and raised. As uh, soon as I saw her, I said, okay, that has to be my wife. Yes, you might call it obsession, but. Uh... <laughs> in less than two years, we got married. Then we finished our master's and PhD. So we came to America and we got a very good job. I work as a research scientist and my husband is a very successful businessman. I mean, for us, success is, is important because you can buy stuff, you can go on vacation and in different places. I have a hammer because it gives you class, it gives you a really clear indication of who's in that car. Mom! Are you coming? Yes. Whatever. My daughter, Tal, is the life of the family. <laughs> Are you looking at me, Dad? Yes, I'm listening. Tal is 13. She's a spicy and she's a sugar. Where's that pink Versace top? Did you look in your cupboard? It's not in the closet. I'm so serious. I bet you like 100 bucks is not in the closet. I try to teach Tal to be education oriented. It gives you self confidence. I'm for homework. There are two philosophies I instill in my daughter, right? One is educational, and one is that she needs to look good. My outfit looks good, right? Yeah, it looks really nice. I like it. To golf ball? No. Okay. I care about my education. I did like the idea of brain surgery first, but then I realized that it seemed too boring. I'm bored. And then like one time, there was this girl who was like a plastic surgeon and she was like super fashionable. So you can sort of combine something that's, you know, like medical with fashion and, you know, beauty and stuff. Oh, look at this, look at this, look at this, this is pretty. You wanna pick it up and look at it for me? This one? Yeah. We are shopaholics. I mean, when we go shopping, we go into Lurley Couture shops where they name brand items like Versace and, and Emilio Pucci. Your clothes gives, gives you confidence, it gives you power. You can always tell a person by his shoes. I mean, that's how I judge people. I'm sorry. Any good? Cool. Generally, if you are sexy and if you are beautiful and if you are fashion oriented, it's good for you, for your children. So it look with good with jeans? Yeah, it will look very good with the jeans. with why and see you when you get back. I don't want to make up kids. Because they'll both just roll over. I'm looking forward to a new experience, but I'm afraid that the horses will get pushed aside. I'll take care of horses and puppies. Thanks. I will miss Suzanne, but I'm capable of taking care of the place on my own. Yeah, for fun. But that looks pretty good, I think. You like it? Yeah. It looks nice? Yeah. I want to look nice for the new family. 
It is very important. The first impression. Mama going, okay, Dad? Okay. Be good girl. I love you, Dad. <laughs> I will miss my wife. I wish I, I could somehow mental telepathy with, between her and me because without her, I mean, I'm not complete. You okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Sure you're okay? <laughs> I'm fine, and that's it. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Ciao, Ariana. We're on a tight schedule, Tom. We have to be there, darling. Sweet. I wanted to show up the new mom the wonderful experience. So after we pick up the new mom, and we're driving to a vacation in Palm Springs. We haven't gone before, but I heard that it has some good window shopping and there are good places to eat. As far as the new mom, if she's willing to get with the program, I'll be fine. Excuse me, are you the new spouse? Are you new daddy? Oh, like, I'm very nice, nice to, to meet, meet you. you. Welcome to Arizona. Thank you. Do you have luggage you have to get? Yes, it is very uh -huh. obvious, so I can recognize very quickly. first impression of Verette was, here's a lady who's concerned about the way she looks, was, I hope this lady's not a foo-foo because we're gonna have problems. Do my shoes good? You look fine. Hi. I'm going to you assume the... you're looking for you're a, a spouse. spouse. <laughs> yes, excellent. I'm Aaron. Hi. Aaron and uh, Tom. I was you. Should we throw the bag in the back? Yeah, okay. What? And your name, I, uh, I didn't quite get Suzanne. it. Suzanne. Suzanne? That's I easy. I didn't even give you that. Aaron, he definitely looked elite rich. Do we have far to go? We aren't going home. We're going on vacation to Palm Springs. When I found out we're gonna all go on a vacation, I thought I'm not one to just lie around on vacation. <laughs> so basically we have booked a suite. We'll go shopping, we can go dining. Well, I'm not a shopper, but whatever you guys like doing. Which state are you from? Virginia. So are there any shopping areas, any malls? There or, is. Well, what kind of stores? Walmart. What do you do? I am a medieval reenactor. And on Saturday, I have a tournament. Wow. What about you? What do you do? I'm a research scientist. How about you? What do you do for a job? Um, I did a master's in software engineering. So how about you? I want to be a plastic surgeon and guitarist in Japan. <laughs> Yes. What does your wife do? My wife basically stays at home and takes care of horses. I have six horses, and my first horse was a large pony. I trained on it hard, and I made it into a show horse. <laughs> Suzanne has a passion for horses, which she explained to me, all the way to Palm Springs. We have two older horses that are very range. Catch the horse's mouth, lift, step, hey. And I 
I wanted to be a vet. Teen is like circus fright. You should have. <laughs> you know, walk like this there. <laughs> you might say I'm addicted. We want to show Suzanne by lifestyle. So I'm really looking forward to the hotel suite. It's pretty expensive, so I would expect it to be the best. When we got to the hotel, I was blown away. I would never be able to stay in such a lavish facility. into a door that said presidential suite. And I was just like, that's too much. You want to look around? Look around? Yeah, See? sure. Do you like it? That's funky looking. Big kitchen. Two tables. Is that enough space? It's huge. My only impression of this uh, hotel, it's a bit dull and drab for me. It's not impressive. What do you do with an empty fridge? Yeah. I get to call room. I get to call the coolest room. This is an ugly looking shower, and there's like this cheap TV, whatever. This hotel was a bit small. Okay. The suite was like junky sort of looking. You get what I mean. What's your opinion? It's, it's wonderful, <laughs> my opinion. <laughs> I don't understand why they were complaining about the hotel, because it's a lovely place. Where's this third bathroom? This is weird. Yeah. How is there not another bathroom? Dad? Yeah. What about me? <laughs> this is messed up. to the house and I see the horses. I think that is the part, something which I really don't want to see in my life. Ariana, Marcello, front and center. Mm. I'm shaking. <laughs> You're shaking? You're just that nervous? <laughs> this is Vered. Hi. This is Marcello. Marcello. And Ariana. Nice to meet you. Hi. <laughs> Saw the red boots that Drea came in with. Wow. <laughs> when I first saw the new mom come in, the uh, first thing I noticed was her chest. I was sitting here going, oh my god. Let's go in and get you settled in and I'll yeah. show you where you're staying. Okay. okay? This is the master bedroom. The sheets are, are changed and the new sheets. New. Thank you. Okay. What I see in this house is, it looks really cheap. This is the bathroom. I'll warn you, before you flush, close the, the lid and flush and then leave because there's a smell that comes out okay. that's really bad, so. Oh boy. You're welcome. This is a nightmare. A patient with no options. Is he gonna die? And a doctor who'll stop at nothing to save him. This test isn't exactly FDA approved. You committed a crime! Do something! All new house after standoff. Fox Tuesday. Viewer discretion advised. of hay are supposed to come, so I expect Ferret to be up and to do the chores that Suzanne normally does. Yes? Consider his first wake-up call. Got hay coming this morning. I'd like to be out there by 7. Let's go. This morning, Mike wake me up. It was too early. 
this is something outside of my daily routine. Unacceptable behavior. This morning when I woke up, I was bright eyed and bushy tailed. <laughs> Got breakfast here. Yeah. I was surprised to see that breakfast was already delivered. I'm not used to people catering to me. So I don't really know what I should expect. So when are we going out? We leave at 9.30 and we'll go shopping. Maybe we're going to the high-end shops. Sounds good? That's cool. You don't find going through the shops boring? Oh. <laughs> A shopper. <laughs> but if the Solomons truly enjoy shopping, then I will try to experience and, and try to get through it. <laughs> Is that all mine? Everything, yep. Okay. I think I'm an intellectual woman, not a person who is working with tons and tons of his. Fred, you stand there and I'll toss him to you. Look out! Hurry up, here it comes. Oh, I wish it was rain today. <clears throat> Start stacking them up on the other side. Next to the other one. Let's go. Hurry, hurry, hurry. It's too heavy. Come on. Keep going. Don't stop. I need your help. Don't fall down now. Okay. Another one up here. Come on. Uh, oh. No, I cannot do it. Yeah, you can. I'm so tired. Don't stop. My husband will never say, you're going to do this, do this, do this. That never happens in our house. Another one. Bring him here. Come on, let's go. I'm dying. Huh? Come on. Put all the hair away and stack it up. But it was too much, too much of work. There's no way I could do it. You ready? Come on, we're halfway there. Let's go. Yeah. <laughs> I heard Palm Springs has very un, uh, unique and elegant taste. So, Tal and I are looking forward to looking at the designer clothes and, you know, just enjoying buying stuff, buying clothes. Welcome to Troy. <laughs> Have you ever been to our store? <laughs> no, we haven't. Yes. You're in for a treat. It's nice. <laughs> On this side, we have our sportswear. Okay. It's a lot of private label. The incredible jewelry. Oh, when I first saw the shop, I immediately thought this is a whole different type of environment. I'm not used to that kind of atmosphere of money. Looks interesting. These are from Brazil. Mm -hmm. They do beautiful embroidery. That's wonderful. This is called a druzy, and it's from Australia. And they're only mined in Australia. And they're all signed pieces. Very interesting. Look at the sleeves. I like them. And that, that's cool. This is cool, sort of. I saw the expensive price tags. I would never spend any more than $100 on a piece of clothing. We believe in what we call indoor furs. I'm sorry, a $2,000 item. You can throw it over jeans or a dress. I can live on that $2,000. Come on. Here it 
girl. I'll take her outside and we can clean the stalls. I don't like to clean the stalls. I mean, he's telling me to clean the stable. I was thinking, I don't like to clean after any animals. It's too dirty, and I don't want to do that. No, he really poop a lot. My husband would never make me do something which is so dirty. Let's walk around the door and see where it's the shop, sir. Okay. Some of the red stuff looks wearable. I like this, something like this look. Can you actually wear this? The shoes are pretty nice. Shopping going on for hours. Do you want to leave and go to the next shop? In hours. I'd want that. That's that looks awesome. good. And hours. Oh my god, that's an awesome dress. That's cool. So, uh, I mean, that you know what the clothes is, right? It's, I mean, the Jessica Wally. Designer names mean nothing to me. That looks nice, though. A huge chunk. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's a huge chunk, that topaz. Spending so much time to shop for material items. And what's the price, I mean, if you make a brooch like that? It seems like this is kind of a waste of life. This is a nice dress. to do. I cannot take the smell because the smell is too bad. I think the smell, that kills us. This is really bad. I love animals, but not up to that extent that you have to invest so much time and energy. I think I'm done. I'm not going to do anything anymore. I don't want to do this. I want to go back home. I don't care about their horses. Catch the stirrup on the other side, please. Come. After cleaning the horses to do this morning, I was so tired. Then I lied down to clean the stable. That is not definitely my priority in the life. It's just two different way of thinking and lifestyle. Yeah, good boy, Freddy boy. I'm gonna ride by my lord and check the height of the rings. Mike told me yesterday that we're buying the party, the <clears throat> medieval day celebration. I have lived in three different countries. And I have lived in America for 10 years. Come on, Fred, be a good boy. And not a single person in my entire life I have met who have this kind of party. People who are educated, we do not believe in fantasy. And the people who believe in medieval things, they are more, I do not know, country style. Oh! Ethnic. Blue color workers. She no kamae. And who take? The armors and the wars and the arrow shooting is just not my lifestyle. I had had enough shopping and felt that we needed to do something else. Ooh, look at all the piñatas. So I was basically thinking we were ready for a nice relaxing lunch. And I suggested Mexican food. I don't like paper napkins. I don't really like cloth napkins. Hello, are you guys doing a date? Someone like a margarita. How about a virgin margarita? Virgin? Have you ever had one? Oh, yeah, I'll have that. Okay. Then I have a cola. If you have a cloth napkin, he would love it. Okay, I don't know what to eat. You got soup, you got a couple of salads. Ew. What else can I have besides that? Sorry, Margarita, for myself. Thank you. Go sign the 
Okay, okay, okay. Just, uh, like something else is mingled with it. Maybe it's a... Uh, like beer? Yeah. <laughs> you like that drink? Tastes sort of like a smoothie. All these chips are too big. I hate big chips. Oh, God. Finally, cut napkins. Wow! I'm back to civilization. <laughs> I don't know, but it seems like the whining, the complaining, there's a pattern that is done around here. So what are you going to have? I'm going to do guacamole especial. I hate that word, guacamole. I mean, it's avocado sounds so exotic, right? It sounds exotic, it sounds nice, and when you say guacamole, what the hell are you eating? It's for ducks or something. <laughs> OK. I mean, it's got no class. It's just, just a name. I feel it's got no class. I like to look and enjoy the food, how it looks, and the art of it. You guys enjoy it. Mexican food is not really art with the way it is presented, and um, it looks messy to me. <laughs> I don't like to eat messy food. OK, I didn't expect a full avocado inside. Oh, God. Well, when you say avocado omelet, <laughs> I can do this at home, all right? I take the almond, put the avocado, and wrap it. Tastes like it has, like, something weird in it. Like, all crunchy, almost. Like, the actual cheese part. This part, when you win taking from avocado, is not good. It's come to the stage when it's... Good luck eating that. It has to be green. I mean, it, I mean avocados have to be... Ew. Look. There's so much cheese, and the cheese is, like, holding, like, a piece of onion and grass. <coughs> I mean, we eat avocados, and I know what's a good avocado. I enjoyed most of the meal, all except, of course, the whining, the complaining the whole time. <laughs> Someone needs to pick better restaurants. It's ridiculous. Ew. And whose photographs are those? That one's me. That one's my brother. Oh. I wanted to spend some time with Ariana. I wanted to know her. I wanted to see her lifestyle. This over here is my world collection. I think these are from Israel, these horses. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's from Egypt. I, I can see you love elephants. Oh, I love elephants. And I love horses. And Disney. <laughs> I think Ariana is just a little girl, even though she's 21. Recently, I've gotten really into pirates. Pirates. Horses, unicorns, even the bedroom is in fantasy world. My fiance and I really love the pirate thing. Fiance? Yeah. <laughs> well, when we first started dating, we went to the pirate festival. That's him there. That's Preston. Mm. Preston. We all dressed up. Oh, that's, that's him there. Ariana said that she's engaged. This is surprising for me because Ariana is still a young a girl, a baby. She's not mature enough to get married. Now what he's doing? Oh, uh, he's at work. He's at work. In construction until about 2.30. A construction worker for my daughter? Out of question, no. And so we've decided our wedding's gonna be a pirate wedding. A pirate wedding? And we're going to rent a ship and everything and everybody's gonna come dressed up. Wedding is the one thing about pirate wedding that's totally crazy. That's the ship we want to rent. This family spends all the time in the dream world they're not seeing the real world. So I'm very concerned about that. to get what they want when they want it. They go buy things from <laughs> these big stores and spend lots of money on very expensive dinners. We are looking at the oh, yeah. restaurant. But there's a whole lot more to life. So rather than running to a fancy restaurant, I decided to buy all the things that I needed to make sushi. OK. I'm going to make some sushi. I love to cook for my family. And I really want Tal and Aaron to enjoy something they lost that came from my heart. We don't really eat at home. 
I'm not that kind of person. I mean, if I want good food, I will go and just buy it. While she's the kind who spends the time looking for food, trying to cook it. I mean, I don't spend my time that way. Okay, that's stuff. You can grab what you want and put it under your plate. So what's in the soup? Soy and uh, mushrooms and onions. What, were you supposed to drink this? Drink it or eat it with a spoon. No, but I don't swallow one of these huge chunks of vegetables. It's a bit strong, that soup. My son loves miso soup. Really? It's not this one. I'm scared of tasting your sushi. Don't take a big piece. OK. It's a little teeny piece. I don't like the seaweed. I feel sick of seaweed. You can unroll it. Just take it and pull it right off. That's OK. Sure? Yeah. Gross. I have a gagging reflex. <laughs> you haven't had rolls? I don't know. I don't feel like eating them. I didn't really want to try the sushi because it looked really bad. I were like super sick and gross. If I end up throwing up tomorrow, I'm gonna blame somebody. <laughs> what do you think? It doesn't taste that good. Yeah. Ew. I'm gonna have ice cream. Ice cream. I was shocked. It was good food. Are you from the heart? And they didn't eat. So I didn't feel very appreciated. Yeah, that, that's, that's not how you treat someone. I think it's very sad that Tal's parents encouraged this spoiled behavior. Why would you encourage your kid to do something that you know isn't right? This is totally out of control, and I'd have to do something. Today, we are setting up a medieval tournament and had about 20 friends over. It's a team effort. You know how to set this up? Oh, come on. It's a medieval table. It's not that hard. They bring their tables. They bring their tents, they bring their banners, they bring their armor, they bring their costuming. It's a big production. Is that tight enough for you still? I didn't enjoy that much to get dressed up in that costume and to go out and pretend who I'm not. But I still did it. Come on, guys, we got to get this done. I wanted to go ahead and join the party, but when I saw all these people coming in their fantasy clothes, I was thinking, you know what, that's too much. Ridiculous. This is so ridiculous. Through one more time, then around there, then tie it so there should be enough. And when I saw Ayana get the costume, I just I just couldn't bear it. This is so ridiculous, so ridiculous. And this is one of theirs. And um, I think at some point, at a certain point, I just lost it. I felt it that somewhere I have to stop this sort of dream world. Dress up in regular clothes. In regular clothes? Yes. Okay. Ari, I want you to change your clothes after two hours and come in what you dressed up yesterday. 
for the party. Really? Yes. I will let you wear for two hours, but I want you to dress up. Just that we are going out for... Our no, that's not acceptable. I'm sorry. We no. cannot do that. We cannot leave our children in the fantasy world. I think they are well, living in their fantasy. This is the whole setup here. And you dressed... You, you, you got out of what you were dressed in. I will not be participating in this. Fine. She is going to be involved in this, and so is Marcello. This is going on too much. It means you are dressing up all in these costumes. Fine. If you do not want to be involved in it, that is your decision. I will not force you to do so. But my family will be involved in a tournament from 10 until 4 But they're right now my family, too. You're forgetting that part. You're forgetting that and part. And I'm treating you exactly like I would my own wife. My wife would not do this right now. My partner would not do this right now because she knows it's important to the family. She would be out there doing it. My wife takes care of the horses, and she does what we do together, whether she's sick or whatever. No, my husband will never put my children in costumes all the time and make them live in the They're fantasy world. They're not in world. costumes all the time. Look at them. She is this grown is, up how into many days a fantasy world. been in a world. costume while you've been here? All the time? And look at this her is bedroom. This first time. Mike, do not raise the voice. We are talking like an adult. And kids, you can go out. Go. sit down and chat like a normal I don't woman. have time to chat. I have horses that need to be done. I have been running around this morning setting up stuff that I would have done Mike, yesterday. Mike, you are done. You can go out. You are done. <laughs> we are done with it. Not I can go out. I am going to go you out. You can go out and you can do whatever you like. I'm we are not talking to. anymore on this topic. Moms made the trading spouses switch. One mom only wants the finest things in life. Everything has to be the best of the best. The other mom's an equine expert and medieval maven. There's no comparison to putting on that armor. But this temperamental team had her seeing red. That looks so She's ridiculous. This mom's new life with a drill sergeant dad. And I'm treating you exactly like I would my own wife. Pushed her past the breaking point. I don't belong here. Now, tonight. Trust me, you're nice. One mom's maternal maneuvers put a daughter on the defense. You haven't experienced the world. You know, passion is good, but passion doesn't pay your bills. I'm fed up with the mom advice. She doesn't know me. The other mom's attempt at family fun has this hobby heading for the hills. I was sick of it. Then the fate of the money is finally revealed. I was shocked by their letter. And... I cried because it hurt me badly. Tales of a terrible time send a dad over the edge. He should have not made you cry. End of story. It's an all-new Trading Spouses. I'm mad now. And it starts right now. He's not a knight. He's a loser. Two totally different families are trading one parent for one week. New house, new kids, new life. Each family gets $50,000, but it's up to the new mommy to decide how the money gets spent. It's two families' quest to answer one age-old question. Is the grass truly greener on the other side?
you thread the needle. Since your eyes are better. You missed? There, my friend. This house, it is suffocating already for me. Everybody here live in the fantasy world. Yeah, good boy, Freddy boy. We've decided our wedding's gonna be a pirate wedding. Recently, I've gotten really into pirates. <laughs> and then yesterday, when I saw all these people coming in their fantasy costumes. <laughs> I just couldn't take it. I will not be participating in this. My wife would not do this right now. My partner would not do this right now because she knows it's important to the family. My husband will never put my children in costumes all the time and make them live in fantasy world. <laughs> I can't take it. Mike was upset and uh, he decided to go ahead and do it a party. But as a mother, I did not support his decision. Because once you have kids, you have to make sure that your kids are getting on the right path rather than your own fantasies. Mark, you finish all your homework? Did you study? Why don't you go and study? I'm okay for the week, and I'd rather help my dad with this so we can get it done. At this point, I don't want to have anything else to do with Ferret. She didn't want to partake of the tournament. So, that's her loss. vocab test in my English class. You're doing good in the vocab? Mm -hmm. That's good. So what is your favorite one? Which one is your favorite subject? My favorite subject? I, I like biology. Uh -huh. Have you decided which college you want to go, university you want to go? I, have, I don't know which uh, college or university I want to go to. It's, um, I've already applied to VCU. It's got a decent medical school. I want to become a surgeon. I was surprised to hear that Mark wants to become a surgeon. I didn't expect him to have expectations at that high level. You know, Mark, most of the medical schools, to get accepted, you have to be a straight A student. And yeah. you have to push your education and not this. Not this, and this is the least priority for you. I felt the mark. He has some goals in his life, and not everybody knows how to get there. There has to be some guidance. But I don't feel that he's had that. towels and like new shampoos and like new plates and stuff. Yes, of course we did, right? Yeah. Living here at the Solomons has been a little bit of a challenge. I feel that they have the attitude of, I'm better than everyone else and everything must be top-notch class. You know what clothes is, right? Just Kawali, okay, and it's Gucci, I see. And then I don't like paper napkins. I only like cloth napkins. Someone needs to pick better restaurants. They're not very interested in learning anything new. I feel very strongly that they need to do something other than look at stores, something other than sitting in a top class restaurant. The things that I find most fun do not cost a fortune. This is boring. Um, I 
I think there's something we can do. Okay. We're gonna do something that I do. We're going to go to medieval times. Just remember, this is my thing. Just like the shopping, you know. We went shopping, but... Okay? Suzanne told us that we are going to this uh, medieval times. It's a place where they have small reenactment re of a first battle. So how far are we driving? A little over an hour. Wow, I'm tired. Suzanne sort of brought the whole thing up like out of the blue, so I was like, yeah. Okay, awkward silence. It sounds boring and stupid and pointless, so yeah, I'd rather not go. for myself. Mm -mm. I felt that Ariana was still mad at me, but I needed to spend some time with her to talk about taking the marriage, the education seriously. Sooner or later, she has to face the real world, and as a mother, I just want her to be prepared for it. And I thought I should try my best to be more gentler, because then maybe she's willing to listen to me. So what your boyfriend loves most about you? What he loves most about me? Um, I think it would be the fact that I like to have fun. You know, like, I like sushi. And um, we both love to laugh. And he's going back to school. Oh, yeah, he, right now he's taking, like, one class. Isn't it better that both of you will wait and finish your studies and then get married? I, I, I'm not fond of school. You're not? Yeah. No. She's still too young to understand the importance of the education, the importance of the money. At this age, education is the most important investment anyone can do. You know, you are still young. You, you haven't experienced the world. Well, see, right, that's why we, you still have a lot of time. I want you to have a career. I want you to have a very good profession. You have to have a good job, so you can afford to give your kids the best of the best you can. Mm -hmm. I'm fed up with the mom advice. I have my path that I want to go down, and it's already been set in motion, and I don't want to try to change it, and I am going to marry Preston. As a mother, I worry, because you are naive. Trust me, you're naive. I don't want, I just don't feel comfortable you getting married at this early age. Don't. You know, passion is good, but passion doesn't pay your bills. It's like a wall. There is a wall of her fantasies in the middle between anybody and herself. So, I don't know what to do. Here we go. Oh, God. This evening, we are going to medieval times. It smells funky in here. I can oh. smell horses. I'm very excited to show them something they wouldn't normally do. So far, I don't feel super successful. But I just know that when they see the horses, they will both realize that you don't have to go shopping to have fun. You may enter now. Enjoy your tournament. I feel so stupid. Welcome to the castle, and I'm going to be your wench for the next few hours of this evening. Um, remember, this is medieval times. There are no utensils in this castle. See you, Willie, with your hands, and I'll bring you more towels. Get as messy as you please. Do you have any questions? I'm gonna take a fork. Looking at the medieval times, I thought, 
I mean, I really don't think, first of all, they have spent too much time in high school. That was my opinion. <laughs> Maybe they did, but I mean, I'm judgmental. My friends, welcome! Talking the whole show, telling me something about the horses, just like random stuff. You have to remember, the horse was the car back then. It's like she's obsessed with them. My freezing has more me. So I was sort of getting irritated because to me, I don't think they were that great. What they're showing in that arena is very barbaric. I mean, that's not my cup of tea. I can't believe Susan likes stuff like that. That is not culture. That show got violent and violent and more violent. At some stage, it was like I was sick of it. This is cruelty for me. I was totally displeased, and I couldn't take the violence. Away, I was really shocked because he knew that this was so important to me, but he had absolutely no appreciation for it. Disappointed when I tried to talk to Ariana about her future yesterday. Thank you. Message you. How was your day? She thinks we're too young. Ah. I think she's still in her own world. And she has made up her own mind to live in her own way. Well, mm, me too. But I think Mark has desired to succeed. And I want Mark to realize that, that it's not easy that you want to become a surgeon. It's a lot of hard work. So today we are going to visit a doctor and discuss with him how to achieve those plans. Let's go. is my mom in front of me. Vetted. Nice to meet nice you. Nice to meet you. I'm an orthopedic surgeon. Are you interested in orthopedics? I have a multiple interest in surgery. I like what kind of things do you personally deal with? I'll give you my last 48 hours if that's uh, yeah, something that, that might interest you. Um, I spent uh, a little over 11 hours in the operating room yesterday. Today I saw upwards of 30 people all day. So every day can be quite busy. I think that if you're looking to go to medical school, looking at the financial re rewards in and of itself, then you shouldn't apply. The, the guidance you get through your career should be treating patients, taking care of people, people. 
and putting forth your time and effort and talents in that direction. And everything else will fall forward on its own. Uh, so what, what kind of schooling did you go through for becoming a surgeon? Well, you're talking about a big commitment. After college, you're talking anywhere from five to seven years of training. And once you make that determination that that's what you want to do, you've really got to commit your time yeah. and all of your energies to that end. I can imagine. I like that Mark asked his question. It shows that he has some at least desire to change his life. And I'm very glad the doctor stressed how much work he has to invest, how many hours to reach there. I, in fact, take on students for a one-month rotation uh, to spend some time with me and go to the operating room, uh, talk to patients, and see whether or not that's actually what they want to do. And what he has to do to get uh, to, uh, to become your rotation student, if he wants to do during the summer holidays. I'll give you one of my cards. Okay. And you can contact him. I'm sure, okay. anytime. Yeah. Sure. That, that, that would be great. <laughs> that would be awesome. Thank you. Meeting the doctor was a great experience. It's good to actually hear someone who's gone through the profession. Well, thank you, sir, and you never know, I might see you again in the okay. future. Break a leg. All right, thank, thank you. you. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. You know, you should try to come for one month. I should. I you should. must. <laughs> My family has never really done anything to help me with the future. So I'm very glad that Brad did that for me. I'm very proud of you, and I'm really glad that you did it. Thank you. Thank you a lot. It really does mean a lot to me. After the show, I was very frustrated with both Aaron and Tal's reaction to medieval times. Should we go? They just don't get it. So I didn't want to leave until they do actually get it. Are you interested in seeing them in their stalls or anything? Are you curious? You can ask, probably. I was really tired of the knights and the horses, and I wanted to pack up and go home. But Susan wanted to look at more horses. Uh, I'll just wait here. Well, this is what I do. Training horses. Does that look interesting to you to do? I don't think so. I don't think so. You don't think that sounds exciting? Is there anything, anything physical that you would like to do? I mean, usually kids your age are, you know, experimenting and finding what they're good at. And you're not even wanting to find. Then that's what bothers me. I want to see you find something. I want to see you get involved in something. Yeah. Other than shopping, you know? Other than a strip mall. Do you see what I'm getting at? Do you see what I'm saying? Suzanne really upset me. She didn't discuss like how good my daughter is big selling, but she felt, oh, she's not spending enough time with horses. But everybody has their own likes and dislikes, right? You can't force no, 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 somebody, she, right? I mean, I mean, I mean you can't tell hard. somebody, go and do a, right? What I'm trying to get is that yeah. she does something. And it's not that we only do shopping, right? It's the other things no. we do too. But I prefer right. that than spending time with a horse. Do you see that this kind of thing can be done with the family? But why would I want to spend time on a horse with a family? I mean, that's not... Um, but do you think you're spending time when you're looking at clothes? If I'm on a horse, I'm spending spend time with a horse, Susan. Huh? I'm not spending time with a family. Oh, that's not true. I'm with a horse. Like, if I'm with... It's okay. the same as when you're looking oh, at clothes. No, no, no. If I'm on a horse and she's on a horse, uh -huh. I'm not talking to her. Are you talking to her when you're looking at clothes? Yes, I am asking. <laughs> well, Is I'm he talking to you? Yeah. What about? What do, you think of this what do you think of this clothes? What do you think of that clothes? Do, do we look good, dear? Yeah. Do, do you like the look of this? Do you really think the horse is happy having that saddle on his back? I'm happy right now. But now that the horse no. is trained, guess what? No, trained, exactly. You, you Prior got to, to that, I mean, okay, if you didn't train your daughter, she wouldn't want to do homework. 
right. But okay. she has a right to tell me no. But a horse has no right to tell you no. I mean, that's cruelty to animals. When I see a horse like doing what he's doing, uh -huh. I feel that's cruelty. Do you think it's cruelty to ask your daughter to do a sit-up? You're missing the point. You're forcing him to be of certain way. Say, exactly, just like you asked your daughter to no, be certain way. No, she has a right to become whatever she wants. She can become a doctor, okay. she can become a project Do you manager. Do like going to school every day? Do you like having to take a test every day? Don't look at Dad and say, what does Dad want for an answer? Don't look at me. No. No. I just like okay. seeing my friends. Aha. Aha. Right. He wants to come out and see the humans. He wants to come out and see his buddies. But he doesn't want to have to work. Same as you. A horse cannot talk, I mean. He is talking. You see, not see talking. his tail? Did you see his tail flip? He's being he forced to do that. Yes. He's, he's being forced. He's asking him to work. Why? He has to work for his dinner. Oh, no, that's wrong, right? That's slavery. The you don't past. think you're a slave to your no. education and your society? No. Oh, no. you are so. No, the point is know. when I work, I know I get money and I can support my family. Uh -huh. He knows he's going to get his dinner if he behaves. And what, he's going to get a special dinner? I mean, he can go and drive a car. He says, oh, you know, what if I work 10 times more? He doesn't I can, need to drive a I car. Get, he no. gets his dinner. <laughs> wow. You're comparing animals with human beings and saying that's okay to compare animals with human beings, right? Yeah, I'm, I'm, see, that's the part. You're not saying that it is the same. <sighs> I mean, she was really crazy. She was cuckoo. Suzanne in a different world, and she wanted to give her point of view and force it down Tal and myself. I mean, I didn't like it. But I have to say, I am having a hard time at giving a family that boasts how much money they have more money. I know this family does so much into horses and their own hobbies. But I want to spend the money um, where people have motivation, desire to succeed. something new to the Solomons. But they didn't seem to appreciate that. Hello. Hey. How long have you been sitting there? Have you ever oh, stopped? a couple minutes. Grab Dad real quick. Real okay. quick. Dad! Big news is I gotta go now. Are you serious? Yeah. Wow. Yeah, five minutes. <laughs> I mean... You're f okay. Hey. I gotta go now. Bye. Wow. Suzanne's like a nice person. But I'm sort of happy that my mom is coming back. I, I hope like you them. enjoyed your stay with us. Of course. After this whole experience, I strongly believe that new mom didn't understand my family at all. OK, give me another one. Give me another one. Have again. fun. She thought she was trying to understand, but she failed totally, I felt. <laughs> my God. Bye. 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 There you go. They will remember me that even though I express my strong opinions and disliking, they'll remember that at the end of the day, I was not a bad heart person. We just had difference in opinion. Okay. You want to put them outside on the porch? I don't think Ferret made an attempt to find out what we're all about. Let's just take it out. She's so locked into her world that Ferret can't do something that is different. There's the taxi. <laughs> And write to me. Okay. <laughs> I am definitely thankful that Vered came. I guess every hug. <laughs> me too. She's a good person. I think she's really influenced me, and I'm not going to forget her. Okay. Thank it you. was a pleasure meeting you guys. Thank you. Okay. Bye. One of the most important things they will remember me that Mark will finish his education, become somebody because I think at least I accomplished something.
anxious to meet Vera. I'd like to talk to her about how money tends to control how the family thinks and about the effect it has on Tall. It's going to be hard. But when I'll meet Sue, I will tell her that Mark and Ayana is not going. I think it's the responsibility of the adult to make sure the child is put on the right track. I'm anxious to talk to her. The Solomons are encouraging tall, spoiled behavior. This is a problem, and she needs to know this. Hello, dear. Hello, Harrett. <laughs> um. <laughs> so, how are you doing? I'm, I'm good. How about you? Very good. Tall is so beautiful. Thank you. I, I just, I knew you would be beautiful because she was so beautiful. Look is very important. Yeah. Um, I learned so much about your family. First, and then we had lots of meals out. So you had a good time together. was one thing, though. No. Um, as far as uh, tall, mm -hmm. she did some complaining. And then Dad, when Dad encourages that behavior, that's what bothers me. Being that she is an only child, I think Erin is wanting to buy everything to make his daughter happy. And so now she needs to, to learn how to be responsible because life doesn't exist just on money. And the only way she's gonna do it is if you guys do it. You gotta lead by example. That Susan made that comment, it's really bothered me because I'm very proud of that. And I'm trying to teach her to face the real world. And people who live in reality succeed. So I got to give her a taste of what we do. We got to go to medieval nights and she actually got to see horses. Very top-notch quality of one, you know? <laughs> so if you guys can do more of that, it would be wonderful for her, I think. I don't believe this. I, I don't want my daughter to live, make me live lifestyle. Uh, what did you think of our games and fun that we participate in? Or It was interesting. I think we had certain differences in our thinkings and opinions coming from country versus city. And I agree with the kids sees, uh, and they adapt what they see their parents do. Um, if I was mother, I will not let Mike do all this war and sword fighting. Because of your fantasy world, Mark and Ariana start growing, and I don't think they should be dressing up. Since Mark wants to become a surgeon, I very much wish that he will focus on education and succeed in his life, rather than doing all this horse riding and sewing and wasting the time, medieval things. I hope he will get there where I want to see him one day. But Mark need a push. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Obviously, we are so opposite. And we have totally different opinions on what's important in life. So we're not going to understand each other's views. Well, I guess this is for your family. I hope I have made the right choices. <laughs> and I hope we'll be in touch with each other. Yeah, yeah, sure.
go ahead and start taking that outside, and I'll sweep up behind you. We tried to straighten up the branch a little bit because we wanted to make sure that uh, everything would be as ship shape as possible when Suzanne came in. I'm looking forward to getting home and seeing my family. They will be so happy being close and seeing each other. I was very happy to see her again. Okay. We really yeah. love her. I'm glad she's back. It feels like it's home again. Nice. Hi. Hi. I was very happy to see Suzanne. She looked very healthy and happy. And I greeted Suzanne with a big hug and a kiss. Ah! Mark! Don't break her! My mom, I missed you, <laughs> and you're never leaving again. I'm never leaving again. Okay. <laughs> It's become so dirty, I can't believe it. Dog can call his maids and... I'm bored and hungry. No, whose shoes is on? Is it my shoes? I don't know. It was a long drive back home, and time was really moving slowly. We're looking forward to see Vera, because we really missed her a lot. I am looking forward to seeing my family. I miss my husband. I miss my daughter. This is where I belong, I feel it. Hey, Tal, she's here, Tal. Tal! Okay, I'm coming! <laughs> You're back. <laughs> Pushy, how was your holiday, darling? Fine. I am so happy to get Vera back. <laughs> this is for you. Oh, my God! I mean, that's my comfort level. Thank you, sweetie. I don't think I'll get the same comfort level with anybody else. So how was everything? It was okay. Yeah. I cleaned the horses, doo-doo. <laughs> and I had to put away the hay. Very impressive. <laughs> but then they came for the, what is called, medieval? Medieval. And I think me and Mike got into disagreement. And uh, I said, I'm not going to participate into this. So how did he handle it when he said you're not going to participate in it? He said he's going to go ahead and do it. Yeah, and? So they went out and they enjoyed their life. So I stayed at home, and they went outside, and they enjoyed. So he didn't talk to you? No, he finished the whole party. But what happened when he came back, he spoke to you? He didn't bother to call me. He left you the whole time? No, he didn't care. How many hours he left you? Probably from 10 to 4, 4 35 o'clock. I really don't know what to say. I'm sorry. Zero culture. Okay, seriously, I'm mad now. He's not a knight, he's a loser. He, I mean, I swear he can't even spell the word knight. He doesn't know what a knight means. It's honor, it's bravery, and it's chivalry. Did it hurt you? I cried because it hurt me badly. They made you cry? Yes, but they didn't care. They made you cry and they didn't care? No. Very impressive people. And he's in the army? What the hell is he doing in the army? He's not fit to be in the army. I, I think it was a little bit unpolite. I think maybe I should not have lost my you know, control too. I didn't make her cry at all, okay? I didn't make her cry, but you made my wife cry. It upset me a lot when, when I heard I mean, how he treated me, because I didn't treat his wife that way. Yes, maybe, I mean, I didn't listen to her, but they are way off in the 12th century. I mean, they should be sent back to the 12th century. The problem is they can't go to college and get a degree and then feel this. So this is a fantasy of being knighted, okay? Because they can't get a degree in the hand, seriously. Because, I mean, they, I mean, they can't go up in life. They don't see what they're doing wrong in life, whatever. 
he should have not made you cry, okay? End of story. He's a loser. Okay, we ready? Uh -huh. Here we go. Okay. So everybody wants to know what's in here, right? Oh, yeah. yeah. It is the end of our journey together and wanted to tell you that you are very good people. You have two great children. Now comes the money. Dear Solomon family, I allocate the $50,000 as such. $1,000 to save a pound animal. They have 17 acres of land. I have only in CBNC back here. <laughs> I can't afford my bed to pee and poo everywhere. <laughs> 10000 for you and Mike to pay off if you owe anyone. $10,000 is not enough money. I would have liked all the money to go into the debt. I have a lot of debt. $9,000 to pay back debts. We don't need that. I can afford to pay back my debts at any second. Uh, 10000 for Ariana, for her college education, and not for her wedding. For it wasn't for me getting married at a young age, so it doesn't surprise me. But I can save up my own money for the wedding now, so it doesn't upset me at all. Thousand to Dal for a vacation. Yeah! Dal is very excited. Yeah, I'm on a vacation. <laughs> I can go for like a month. I was like super happy that she put $15,000 towards a trip. I definitely want to go to Japan because of the music and the fashion. And I've always wanted to be a guitarist, like for a Japanese band. Lastly, $25,000 to Dal's education. Good. Yay! I'm so hey. glad. I'm happy at least. I'm happy. I wish her well and know she will make us all proud. Sue gave $25,000 for Tal's education. We were very happy. $5,000 for Sue for her career development so she can secure herself a job. <laughs> okay. I think a higher job is what she's trying to say. Cause I can go get a job, <laughs> plenty. Okay, and twenty-five thousand for Mark and his higher education. I'm really glad that she did that. I thank her greatly for that because you want to become a surgeon. Best regards, Farad. Okay, ten for us, five from school, ten for Ari, and twenty-five for Mark. So I guess I gotta go back to school, huh? Yep. <sighs> Look what I'm wearing. Ah. Dali, did you see what I'm wearing? Isn't it cute? She will look good. So you wore any of your good clothes? No, I could not. <laughs> I'm proud of Barrett because the way I see it, it's, it's very easy to go up in life and live a nice, expensive life, but it's very difficult when you have to go down couple of steps and live in a totally different life where life is very hard. <laughs> what? No, I'm just happy, darling. But you look good today. <laughs> <laughs> I'm really happy I'm back to my normal life. I belong here, in the city, in the California. <laughs> and my home. Come on, good night. Tomorrow, you and I should go for shopping. Yeah! It's just like to be in heaven. <laughs> Good night. Good night, good night, good night. Good night. Not better. You didn't tell me. You didn't tell me it wasn't right. I definitely miss my horses as much as my family. I am very happy to be home. I'd much rather be here. Okay. Marcello. Okay, move over a little bit. There you go. All right, I still, I'm still yeah, the closest.
it one. The best? No. I haven't gotten white or black yet. Okay. <laughs> My arrow just went in the middle circle. Oh! Nice shot. Mine's right in the middle circle there, young lady. Yeah, yeah, but... Marcello, Ariana, go find out what's going on with Marcello. What happened to him? Well, where is he? Is your family ready to trade spouses? To find out how, go to fox.com. It's the best night of drama on TV. Fox Tuesday, first at 8. He saved her life. It's okay. I'm gonna protect you. Now a victim is obsessed with him. I need you to help me. And this attraction could become fatal. An all-new standoff, then at 9. Is he gonna die? Will House risk everything to save a patient? This test isn't exactly FDA approved. You committed a crime! Do something! An all-new House. It all starts at 8, 7 central. Fox Tuesday. Viewer discretion advised.